Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week do include shorts that allow us to have a little bit of a discussion. I want to thank all you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube for all of your guys' continued support. We start things off from the Washington Times. Media monitoring company NewsGuard sued for defamation, helping feds violate free speech rights. So we're getting more into the various agencies that we're working with, as we understand the Department of Homeland Security and or the Department of Defense or other agencies within government. Because as you know, here on the Buzzweaver channel, we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, we take the confusion. But most importantly, we take the manipulations and the narrative pushing that we see from the establishment in that our institutions, as well as our culture, has been hijacked. A media publication is striking back at NewsGuard, an American company that gives clients reliability ratings and scores for hundreds of news and information websites and often tags conservative sites with low grades, not surprising. Consortium News has filed a lawsuit against NewsGuard and the U.S. government, accusing them of defamation and working in tandem to censor the outlet's foreign policy reporting in violation of the First Amendment. So the Consortium News is going after NewsGuard because, of course, it is uh, manipulating its ratings and reliability scores, which can, if people use it with any frequency, make a particular agency look bad or make them uh, come across as unreliable. Now, the only person I know of that uses NewsGuard is Tim Poole, of course, a professional uh, journalist and YouTuber commentator who has his own media website here called Tim Cast, where they do news and politics and culture. Of course, he's also a musician, and he does a lot of things to help build culture. But he has a news agency also, as it were, and uh, – on NewsGuard, he has a certain rating on there that he thinks was was unfair. I think he's got like an 80% news rating on NewsGuard, but it is a a, a paid a paid platform because as you can see here, NewsGuard can make AI safe. And of course, my favorite one of all is uh, tracking unreliable AI news sites. So of course, uh, it's just interesting because it's just yet another apparatus. Of the left, another apparatus of the establishment uniparty and our institutions to work together in a coordinated effort, of course, to monitor news and suggest that one or the other is reliable while the other is not. Of course, we saw this type of manipulation during the pandemic, which was just outrageous, as we played a clip from that uh, during a uh, hearing there with Vijaya Gotti, who essentially had to admit that she was manipulated or Twitter was manipulated into censoring certain medical doctors. So it's absolutely phenomenal. But uh, it's not to be confused with Ground News, which I like to use, but Ground News aggregates the news agencies based upon their political leanings, right? So you can see here this article here on uh, David DePapa that uh, this article is mostly left-leaning websites, 25% center and 6% right. And that's why I like using new, uh, NewsGuard because it kind of aggregates it based upon political leanings of the various news agencies. But of course, here on the Buzzweaver channel, I want to make sure that you guys get a cross-the-board interpretation on a lot of these news media sites. And of course, I can no longer link anymore because of YouTube's new policies and rules and so forth on the same, basically the same thing, misinformation and disinformation. Because of course, whoever controls the narrative, whoever controls the space, the platform, is the one who's going to reach the people. Because as we've always talked about here, their biggest concern with Donald Trump or anyone on the right, whether it's Elon Musk, whether it's Joe Rogan, uh, Alex Jones, whoever, anyone who has levels of prominence, levels of charisma, levels of abilities to communicate to a wide audience of people, they're terrified that individuals like Donald Trump and others will have influence over other individuals, influence that the mainstream media wants to control, the, 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 the individuals that the mainstream media wants to ensure that they have correct think. Because as, as of this week, of course, I did the video on gaming when it comes to Activision and Call of Duty, where they're actually monitoring language in the chat system that's within the game. It's absolutely extraordinary. But 
I'm not surprised that NewsGuard is being sued. I'm actually glad that they're being pursued because uh, I think their ratings and scores. I don't pay for the service or any of the services, uh, NewsGuard and or even Ground News. It's just I don't do enough of uh, – I'm not involved enough within – uh, what what we do here on the Buzzweaver channel to 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 be at that level of uh, vetting, and of course I just use mainstream legacy media links anyway. Uh, Tim will use NewsGuard every once in a while if he's using a particular uh, news article that people may not be familiar with that maybe he's more familiar with to kind of just substantiate why he's getting the information from that particular source. But I just use regular legacy media because most people understand things like the Washington Times, CNN. And these sorts of sites, maybe the Daily News, the Guardian, and those are from the UK. But uh, it's just really extraordinary to see this continuing process that we cover here on the Buzzweaver channel. And of course, all of you guys across New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, you guys have been amazing with your support. You're always welcome to comment down below on any ideas, thoughts that you have on these particular articles, of course. And, you know, that's how we communicate as within the community. Although I don't do a lot of open-ended things for you guys, do I? I always kind of just report the news as is and say, here it is, you know, and uh, and just give you kind of a perception of my particular opinion because that's what I do here, really, is I read articles and give people's opinions. This isn't like any pro professional-level uh, type pundit work. And this is just uh, me giving an opinion, enjoying, uh, enjoying sharing this information with you guys because I was in politics years ago. I would not say that I'm at that same level anymore, not, not anywhere near it. But I do like sharing articles and ideas and concepts, uh, what's going on in our country, the way the establishment uniparty works, the media, and just the way it's all unfolding and how sometimes we're manipulated. I don't like to really go into a lot of conspiracy types of stuff. I just like the regular everyday news is should be sufficient enough for everyone to understand what's actually happening in our country. But that's what I have for you guys this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. Below this video in the description area, you can find the various social media links that I belong to. Feel free to follow me there, as well as if you're an Amazon Prime member or order frequently from Amazon, by all means, you can use those Amazon links to go to the landing page. And, of course, it works as a Amazon landing page and helps out the channel. But I want to thank all of you guys across the board, New Tech as well as here on YouTube, for your guys' continued support. Appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon you guys can click on to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't figured that out already, being here on YouTube, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys right there behind the Galaxy Phone camera next week.